So over the last 12 months or so, we've heard countless stories and articles and rumors and leaks about a new Nintendo Switch Pro, a Nintendo Switch Revision, a 4K Switch, whatever you want to call it. But I think in this particular instance, we have to discuss this particular article that's coming out because normally I don't like to talk about these things on my channel, but I do think that this is probably the first time we've got some quantifiable real information that will outline potentially what we can expect to see with the Nintendo Switch revision later this year, most likely during the holiday season, or if not, you know, thanks to COVID and other issues like a semiconductor shortage, for example, possibly into next year. Now, this particular article was released by Bloomberg, uh, thanks to Takahashi Mochizuki and Sohei Kim, and it outlines Nintendo's plans for a Switch model with bigger Samsung OLED display. So let's kind of go through and talk about what's going on here. So it says Nintendo plans to unveil a model of its Switch gaming console equipped with a bigger Samsung OLED display later this year. Hoping the larger touchscreen can prop up demand in time for the holidays, people familiar with the plan said. Now, that tells me that Nintendo is prepping for new revision hardware for in time for the holiday, but obviously with you know factors possibly beyond their control it may be something that may not make the cut but it seems like we can expect new revision hardware later this year but here's where it gets interesting so samsung display company will start mass production of a seven inch and keep in mind the existing switch this model right here this has a 6.2 inch screen so a 7 inch screen would be larger than the current switch screen but not by much but probably enough that you know you can consider the kind of current form factor maybe with um you know more of the bezel kind of removed and basically opening up the display and making it more of a 7 inch screen but it says it's going to be a 720p resolution OLED panel as early as June with an initial monthly target of just under a million units. Said the people who asked not to be identified discussing internal matters. The displays are slated for shipment to assemblers around July. Representatives for Nintendo and Samsung display declined to comment. So what does this mean? Well, it means that a new Switch revision will be getting a larger screen but it will still be a 720p resolution. Now that may surprise some people because a lot of people kind of expected that a revision to the display would mean at least 1080p. And I've even heard stories about 1440p. But for me, this is pretty much in line with my expectations in that a handheld switch is something that can't really exceed too much power you know when we talk about nintendo and the current revision of the switch or the, the switch itself right now as we know it it's no secret that nintendo has underclocked that system in order to ma maximize the battery and thermals from that particular system so coming out with a 1080p display or a 1440p display means it it needs to use more power overall and I'm not sure what the numbers would be, but you would probably think that Nintendo has tested, you know, in their laboratories, a 1080p display or perhaps a 1440p display and really come back and said, look, it's not really worth the investment to do this because we're going to effectively cut our battery life in half. That's one possible outcome that you can think of. But I guess another reason why they are sticking to 720p resolution for handheld mode and one as a developer that makes sense to me is that they want to maintain a sense of compatibility with the existing switch architecture and the existing switch game so if you think about a handheld game running on the nintendo switch now it obviously can go up to a resolution of 720p so i expect nintendo they want to make sure that the revision of the hardware that utilizes a 720p display will not break existing compatibility with games that run in handheld mode. It, it effectively means there's not going to be a patch that's needed for handheld mode for that game to actually you know, run at 1080p or a higher resolution. Now, with that said, let's continue on and talk about more of this particular article. 
Nintendo seeks to sustain a Switch lineup that continues to sell well against the Xbox and PlayStation thanks to a pandemic-era breakout like Animal Crossing and a chip crunch that has plagued supply and rival devices, but the gadget is now in its fifth year while Microsoft and Sony both have new and more powerful machines on the market. I do think this is a very important point. It's very apparent to me that Nintendo, even though they pretty much do their own thing and they always have they do want to get back out with some new hardware and this is just more kind of you know more kind of information and proof that that we need that that there is going to be new hardware coming out now it goes on to say the gaming community has speculated online about the introduction of a oled or organic light emitting diode screen but nintendo has stayed mum and president shintaro furukawa said on February, his company has no plans to announce a new Switch anytime soon. Now, of course, that's just, that's just you know, president speak. That means we're probably working on it, but anytime soon could mean not anytime within the next three months, six months. It doesn't matter. Anytime soon is not really anything that's obviously measurable. But the interesting part is the OLED panel will consume less battery, offer high contrast and possibly faster response time. And that is really, really interesting to see. Now, OLED technology is something that I wasn't necessarily really banking Nintendo to be considering, especially when you consider something like the Sony PS Vita, which introduced a OLED display many, many years ago. And look, the original PS Vita looked absolutely incredible with that particular screen. So I love the fact that Nintendo is going with OLED panels for the new model. It's really just going to make the system pop just that much more. But there is issues with OLED as well, especially around things like screen burning and, and whatnot. But I'm sure Nintendo has already considered that, those types of things. There's probably already research and development that's gone into those. And there are ways to, you know, mitigate screen burn and, and you know, and, you know, offer kind of tools in the system firmware that, you know, when the game is kind of running idle or if the system's running idle, it can, you know, shift some pixels around to mitigate the screen burn in issues. But OLED panels is very exciting to see. And look, it goes on to say, and this is where it gets interesting, the new display's resolutions mirror the current Switch and Switch Lite, but it is an upgrade from the Switch's 6.2 inch to the Lite's 5.5 inch. If the console's housing remains unchanged, the new Switch is likely to support a thinner bezel. So it seems like what they're saying here is this guy here that we all know and love may not actually change the form factor may not change it may just be the same form factor with a thinner bezel you know there may be some slight tweaks and enhancements but this particular model or the shape that that we know and love this may uh be around for a for a while longer yet we're not really sure what to expect but that's kind of what i expect to see now the other really important piece the Bloomberg article talks about is that although the Switch in handheld mode is still 720p, it says that the latest model will also come with 4K Ultra HD graphics when paired with TVs. This could intensify a long-standing complaint of developers who have struggled with the difference in resolution between handheld and TV modes and now face a bigger gap between the two. Now, this is very interesting to read this because, look, it's no secret that I'm a Nintendo developer. I have worked on Switch games in the past and I'm continuing to do so. I've never really had any concerns about the differences in resolution between games in handheld and dock mode. It's really more about the number of cores on the processor, the clock speeds, the GPU speeds, the memory bandwidth, and the amount of memory itself. Now, I do expect to see that this newer Switch revision won't just be a new screen that runs games at 4K. If we're running games at 4K, or if it has the ability to run games up to 4K, then that also implies there will be newer hardware. And look, I've always said with the Nintendo Switch revision, the Switch Pro, whatever we want to call it, the amount of upgrades that they do to the CPU, the GPU, and the RAM aren't going to be anything earth shattering. I expect a, I'll say a 15 to 20% increase in, in those areas and possibly more memory that gets added to the Switch's hardware, as well as the increase in memory bandwidth. And I think those three things alone 
uh, you know, the low hanging fruit that would be enough to really push the switch to the next level. And in fact, if you've watched my previous episodes on overclocking the switch, it's already possible to run games at 60 frames per second with some overclocking. So look, I don't think the switch needs too much to really push it to the next level to push, you know, dock mode performance to 4K. Now, it may not be native 4K, it may be checkerboarding or via DLSS or other upscaling measures, but I do strongly believe that Nintendo with this revision of the hardware will bring more performance underneath the hood in the CPU, GPU and memory areas as well. But this is very interesting stuff. And look, it's really just kind of curbing expectations as well. And I really appreciate this report that's come out from Bloomberg because I think a lot of people may be a little confused about the 720p OLED screen. It's certainly in line with my expectations. And I think Nintendo Switch revision that does come out later this year, hopefully, or next year, is something that will be a performance boost, no doubt about it but it won't be earth shattering. It, it definitely won't be a new generation. It'll just be a revision of the hardware and think, you know, new Nintendo 3DS versus old Nintendo 3DS, that type of stuff. And I think that's where you should really think about, you know, the level of performance that you should expect from a Nintendo Switch revision. But let me hear your thoughts about this Bloomberg article in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the OLED display, the 7-inch OLED display, 720p in handheld mode? Do you think that maybe Nintendo should have done more around this and possibly pushed it a little harder to get possibly a 1080p display out of handheld modes. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below on this one. But as always, guys, if you like this episode, leave me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.